Good day everyone, today we will be discussing all about the historical timeline of science and technology in the Philippines. During the pre-Spanish period, early Filipinos made simple tools and weapons of stone flakes and later developed new skills like sewing and polishing stones. In the 3000 BC, they have learned to produce adzes, ornaments of seashells, and pottery. During the Iron Age, they have learned to use metal as their tools. As time goes by, early Filipinos have engaged themselves into weaving, mining such as copper, gold, bronze, and iron. Besides weaving and mining, farming was also rampant in the Philippines that led in creating the finest product of engineering, which is the Banaue rice terraces. Also, early Filipinos have engaged themselves in shipbuilding. They have built a refined plank warship called Karakoa that is well suited for inter-island trade. Lastly, during the pre-Spanish period, the early Filipinos were already aware of medical properties of plants and extracting medicine from herbs. They had also an alphabet, counting method, weights and measurement system, and the calendar based on the period of the moon. The Spanish Colonial Period During this period, there was a massive growth of science and technology. They have introduced formal education and founded a scientific institution. Parish of school were established where religion, reading, writing arithmetic, music, and advanced method of agriculture was taught to the natives. Spaniards made contribution in the field of engineering by constructing colleges and universities around the country, including the oldest university in Asia, which is the University of Santo Tomas. Aside from engineering, biology or so-called the study of life was highlighted during this period. By this knowledge and application, the galleon trade have accounted in the Philippine colonial economy. Trade was given more focus by the Spaniard authorities due to the prospect of big profit. Also, during the Spanish period, the opening of the Suez Canal saw the influx of European visitors to the Spanish colony, and some Filipino were able to study in Europe who were probably influenced by the rapid development of scientific ideals brought by the Age of Enlightenment. The American Period and Post-Commonwealth Era on July 1901, the Philippine Commission established the Bureau of Government Laboratories, which served a purpose to study the tropical disease and laboratory projects in the country. It was later replaced by the Bureau of Science in 1905 that became the primary research center of the country. On December 8, 1933, the National Research Council of the Philippines was established, and on 1946, the Bureau of Science was replaced by the Institute of Science. During the American period, science was inclined towards agriculture, food processing, forestry, medicine, and pharmacy. On the other hand, during the American and post-Commonwealth era, there were data and reports by the U.S. Economic Survey that the Philippines has many problems with regards to science and technology, such as lack of basic information, no support, minimal budget, and low compensation. Thus, during the regimen of Carlos P. Garcia in the 1958, the Philippine Congress passed a bill entitled the Science Act of 1958, which goals is to establish the National Science Development Board. The Marcus Era 
It was only during the Marcus presidency where science was given importance. It was clearly stated by the former president in the Philippine Constitution, amended in 1973, that in terms of national development, priority shall be given in the advancement of science and technology. In one of his State of Nation address, Marcos declared that there is a need for science in public high school, and with the help of Department of Education, in partnership from the National Science Development Board, aims to provide science teaching equipment for a period of four years. While in 1969, he allotted a large amount of war damage funds to private universities to encourage them to courses that focus on science and technology and research. In 1970, he emphasized that by upgrading the science curriculum and teaching equipment is crucial to the science development program. In result, he declared Presidential Decree No. 49 Series of 1972 as support for promoting the scientific research and invention. Aside from that, one of his greatest contributions is the establishment of PAGASA, which function is to give environmental protection and to utilize scientific knowledge to ensure the safety of the country. He also established the National Academy of Science and Technology in 1976 to have a scientist who is expert in science and technology. In 1986, he also established campuses of Philippine Science High School in the Visayas and Mindanao to encourage the youth in these areas to choose a career in science and technology. The Fifth Republic In 1986, during Corazon Aquino's presidency, the National Science and Technology Authority was replaced by the Department of Science and Technology or so-called the DOST giving science and technology representation in the cabinet. Under the medium term of the Philippine Development Plan for the years 1987 to 1992, science and technology's role in economic recovery and economic growth was highlighted. During Corazon Aquino's State of the Nation Address in 1990, she said that the science and technology development shall be one of the top three priorities of the government to embrace the development plan. 1989 to 1992, the budget allocation for science and technology was increased. That encouraged Filipino scientists and inventors to put back Philippines in second in Japan when it comes to the field of science and technology. Former president of the Philippines, Corazon Aquino's goals of her administration was to achieve the status of being an industrialized country by the year 2000. In July 1992, there were noticeable improvements of regarding of science and technology as stated in President Fidel Ramos' State of the Nation Address. In his third zona in one, there was a significant increase in personnel specializing in the field of science and technology. And in 1998, the Philippines was estimated to have 3,000 competent scientists and engineers. It was during the Fifth Republic where the government provided 3,500 scholarships for students who are interested in taking up courses related to science and technology. Schools became modernized and updated by having additional high-tech equipment for students and teachers' improvement. The government approved the Republic Act No. 8439 in 1997, which entitled Magna Carta for Science and Technology Personnel as its purpose is to give incentives and rewards to people who made an impact for science and technology. In 1998, during President Joseph Estrada's term, the Internet age was pushed for the advancement of school and industry. In the Gloria Macapagal Arroyo administration, science and technology was dubbed as the Golden Age. 
the Philippines has made numerous laws and projects that concern both environment and science to push technology as a tool to increase the country's economic development, like Republic Act 9367 or the Biofuels Act that promotes the development of usage of biofuel throughout the country. In 2014, President Benigno Aquino confirmed four national scientists for their contribution in the scientific field. Academians Gavinio C. Trono, Angel C. Alcala, Ramon C. Barbara, and Edgardo D. Gomez. Thank you and good day.